welcome back to Lehigh River Subdivision. I'm Ian and today we got a mail call for you. So I got three items to go over. And without me talking too much, uh, let's get into it. Uh, first two cars are set up here on the bridge, so let's take a look. So the two new cars I got for uh, the end scale layout here, you can see I have a Lehigh Valley flat car. Uh, it comes with this boat load. Um, this is a prime mover for a boat, so a diesel engine. I thought that was a really cool micro trains car and uh, I got both of these for under $10 on eBay. And then this one was a micro trains. This is from the build date on it is 1916, I believe. Uh, it's a wooden, a wooden sided box car for the Lehigh Valley. So some of these older cars like this one will be used. So uh, to do like a prototypical consist for like the Mikado steam engine I have. And then this car would be more for like, it was built in the 50s, it still would have been probably running in the 70s. So I can use that with my uh, Alco locomotive. So two nice cars, I really like both of these. Um, I'm going to throw together a train and run it by before we look into the the last mail call item. unboxing I got this pretty nice size box here as you can see I already went ahead and cut it so I'm gonna go ahead and open this and uh, this is uh, for our Christmas tree this year so if I open this you can see it's a Lionel starter set so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out of the box so we can get a better look at it Plastic's pretty tough. Okay. So there's the box. Uh, let's get it out of this plastic. As you can see, I went ahead and ordered the Lion Now Union Pacific Building America set. It comes with a GP38, a uh, covered hopper, a flat car, and a caboose. And uh, this is the Bluetooth, uh, or you can operate it with the, the controller. All right, I went ahead and pulled the, the inner box out of the, the nice photo box that the set comes in. And you can see, pull this off. This is our power plug for the track, and then our controller for the locomotive. Set that off to the side. Right here is our locomotive, the GP38. So we'll go ahead and pull this out and take a look at it. Well, I'm going to pause this and uh, cut the tape and I'll take this out so we can have a look at it. Okay, pulled it out of the box and uh, here's the GP38. One thing you don't want to do with the Lionel GP38s uh, is pick them up by that. So moving along, it's a really nice locomotive for a cheaper set. Um, this is plastic, but it has some nice detail. The reason I went with this set is because this was the most, you know, realistic looking of the cheaper Union Pacific sets I could find. Not Union Pacific, uh, Lionel sets. So, really nice detail on it. As you can see, for um, I got this on eBay in an auction, this set. Uh, brand new for $290. Which wasn't a bad deal for a Lionel starter set. So there's the locomotive, and we'll go ahead and look at what else is um, in the box. So we got our paperwork, and here we're getting into the cars. They're in a nice plastic sleeve here. So 
So we'll take those out and set them off to the side. And then we should have our track here. Okay, our track's in this box. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is pause the video here. And um, I'm going to set up this track and we'll take a look at the set in action. Okay, and here's a little bonus clip of uh, Cameron with his uh, first train set. This is uh, for Under the Tree for him and my wife. So let's see how he reacts to this. So you can see he approves and uh, we can't wait to make a Christmas scene out of this underneath the tree and uh, see how he reacts to his first Christmas. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you with my next layout update should be coming soon.